Welcome to Western Massachusetts. We are going to talk about one of my favorite towns in Middlesex County. Uh, this town is known for its great farms, restaurants, shops, and so much more. So let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name's Nicole, and I will be walking you through all things Boston suburbs. If you are looking to make a move in nine or 90 days, reach out to me anytime. It would be an honor to help you. And today we're gonna get into all my favorite things in Western Massachusetts. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Our first hotspot we are going to feature is the one and only Kimball's Farm. This place has it all for everyone of all ages. I know people who drive here from all over New England to visit this spot. You can really spend the whole day here with a family. It is famous for its homemade ice cream, but it offers so much more. In the last, I would say 10, 15 years, it has added mini golf, bumper boats, bumper cars, batting cages, driving range, um, pony rides. Kimball's Farm also offers uh, a famous seafood grill. If you want fresh, locally sourced seafood uh, that has the most amazing fried fish and lobsters and so much more, so you can spend the whole day here, get great food, great ice cream, great entertainment. What's not to love? I forgot to even touch on the fact that these guys have a arcade inside. They offer corporate and private function areas. They have outdoor tents. I've even heard that they are expanding into offering an indoor facility for functions and parties and so much more. So definitely check out Kimball's Farm here in Westford. You don't want to miss it. All right, so the next spot I've taken you guys today is Neshoba Valley. It is most commonly known for its ski area. Now, obviously we are not in ski season, but you'll be able to see here that there's chairlifts and all that stuff. This place has so much to offer and it actually is going to pretty quickly transform into what they call Witch's Wood. So it'll be a complete haunted attraction with haunted hay rides and haunted houses. It's a great place to come around Halloween time. And currently they still have open is the Neshoba Valley Tiki Bar. It is probably another huge destination spot for people to come to. It's unlike anything else in the area. It is a complete outdoor tiki bar, restaurant, live music, things to do for families and kids and so much more. And one more place we're not gonna get to today, but definitely Definitely make sure to check out, especially if you have little ones, is called The Butterfly Place. It is a very unique place that has over hundreds of different butterflies that fly all around you and you can walk through. It's definitely a cool exhibit to just check out with your family. All right, and next we're gonna take you to some of the local hotspots for dining out around here. So the first restaurant I wanna talk about today is here at the amazing Karma. If you are a big sushi fan, if you like Asian cuisine, this is a place to go to. They actually have about five different locations. So even if you're not in the Westford area, check out one of their other locations in Burlington, Concord. I think they have one in North Andover and so much more. These guys do it right. Their food is amazing. Their service is amazing. Their drinks are amazing um, and the vibe. It is just a fun night out, either with friends, date night or so much more. Definitely come check out Karma. All right, our next stop, we are here at my favorite local breakfast spot. It is called Classic Kitchen Cafe. I am here with the owner, Sam. Um, Sam, tell us a little bit about this place. All right, well, I opened it with my husband, Gabriel, uh, about a year ago now. And uh, we have been looking for a while. Just We always kind of wanted that small, cozy um, breakfast place. Very homey, very cozy and comfortable. Yeah. Uh, almost like we invited someone to our home for breakfast. That's yeah. kind of the vibe we wanted. Yeah, and they definitely do a good job of that. Uh, every time I come here with a business networking or friends or family, uh, we definitely feel like family every time we come here. So you guys do a great job. Thank you. Yeah, and everything's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and our last stop today, we are at the one and only Stir Martini Bar and Kitchen. Uh, this place is only about a year old, and the uh, local owners totally nailed it here. The vibe is unmatched. It is dark, sexy, swanky, great for a date night. They have food that is just as good as the drinks. I have had the best surf and turf here I have ever had in my entire life. And I just heard that they are even uh, moving to a new location just down the road for a way bigger location, which is great too. So I'm only touching on a few of my favorite spots here in town today, but the great thing about Westward is you can come to a dozen other restaurants, multiple other shops, and so much to do here. And it's all really within like a two to three mile radius off this main road. So come check out Westford, check out all these great restaurants, you won't be disappointed. All right, we are here at one of my favorite neighborhoods in town. This is Hitching Post Greens, and we have a special guest today. This is my friend Janet, and she has actually lived in this neighborhood for over 25 years, so I figured what better way to learn about it than someone who lives here. So Janet, tell us all about this neighborhood. Well, thanks for stopping by. So I love Hitching Post Green. 
big neighborhood. I've been here for over 25 years, and one of the reasons we picked it is because, as you can see, there's so many walking trails. It's a great place to raise family, whether you're starting out, whether maybe you're at a different phase of your life, but there's so many kids in this neighborhood. When my kids were growing up, there were like four buses, and anything you wanted to know, you could find it at the bus stop. Mostly these are four bedrooms. People have finished their basements. They put additions on. Ranges from 2,600 square feet to 3,100 square feet, plus the basements, maybe another six, 800 square feet. Prices are really good right now. They're over a million for the most part, a little under 1.2, 1 million, doing really, really well. Everyone takes care of it and it's so friendly. You can kind of do your own thing if you want to be kind of quiet or you can join events. We've had progressive parties, kids get together, we have a ball field here. Now, 200 homes here, there's two phases. One is the original 169 homes. It shared a treatment plant which I've actually toured. It's kind of like a, a large septic. There's a couple of other pockets in the neighborhood too that were built around 2005, about 20 homes. So you've got about 200 homes and we kind of border the point in Littleton, which I know has been on your video. You can walk <laughs> through the woods. So there's a variety here and people are very friendly and you can ride your bikes, you can walk. It's just great. You don't have to go to the gym, just come to Hitchin Post. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So that concludes our tour of Westford, Massachusetts today. There is so much to love about this town. I could probably talk for at least an hour more about it. We've touched on some of the best local hot spots, but there's so much more to see. So make sure you come check it out for yourself. And if you're considering moving here, um, make sure to like and subscribe, reach out to me anytime. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one.